Hey friends, today I'm bringing you along for a relaxing nighttime speed clean with me. I'm going to be trying out a new cleaning product, deep cleaning my rugs. I'll be sharing our weekly meal plan for the week, as well as a lazy, super simple dinner recipe. So this is just going to be two nights of some super relaxing cleaning, and hopefully I can give you some cleaning motivation. All right, so it's time. It's that time of the year. I busted out my cozy winter pajamas. These were actually my Christmas pajamas from last year, but it's cold out, so I'm busting them out, and we are cleaning in our pajamas tonight. So this was on night one of cleaning, and it was actually really nice for me because Mike had taken the twins to Avery's volleyball practice. Typically, I stay at home with the twins, or I'll take Avery to volleyball, and he stays at home, in, home with them, but... Um, he took them so I could get some cleaning done uninterrupted. I wasn't feeling the best this week and my energy was super low and Mike knew I wasn't feeling the best. So he's like, what can I do? What can I do to help you? Do you want me to clean when I get home? And I said, actually, I'll do the cleaning. You know, I like to do the cleaning. If you just take the twins so I can get some cleaning done uninterrupted, get it done the right way the first time. Um, so he packed packed them up, took them to Avery's volleyball practice so I could get started as soon um, as we ate an early dinner. So there was quite the mess from the day, so I was ready to get some cleaning done uninterrupted. You know you have young kids when you find dirty socks on the countertop and a shoe in a baby stroller, right? <laughs> um, but what, what I was trying to do was just get the disaster of my kitchen cleaned up and I will have the recipe that we made for dinner linked in the description. It is a lazy recipe, uh, meaning it's very simple because you guys know... I like to clean, I don't like to cook, and I'm all for a recipe that is super simple, super easy, and it doesn't take that long to make. The kids loved it. Pretty much they like anything with noodles as long as I don't get too fancy, too crazy. So the kids loved it, it was easy, so it was a win for our home. But my plan um, for tonight was cleaning up the living room and the kitchen, and then I wanted to deep clean my rugs with my carpet cleaner. I'm going to show you how I clean my carpet cleaner when I'm done using it because it can be such a pain to clean. You know, we get so much uh, fur, like dog fur, dust, grass, and dirt embedded in the rollers of the carpet cleaner, and they can be so hard to clean. But I have found a good solution, so I'm going to share that with you, as well as I'm going to be trying out the new Scrub Daddy, Scrub Mommy Power Paste. I've heard a lot about this product, and I was like, I'm going to put it to the test.
sometimes I forget to introduce myself because I just feel like we're always hanging out every single week um, together, but I know that I have new people here. So first off, if you come back every single week, thank you. If you're new, thank you for taking the time to be here. I call you my friends because you truly are friends to me. This community is very important. Um, so thank you. Truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I'm Jamie. I've been married to Mike for 12 and a half years. He is a financial analyst and we have three daughters, Avery who is six, she's in first grade, and then we have twin two and a half year olds, Addison and Emery. And I actually documented my IVF journey when I was struggling with infertility, miscarriages. Um, it was just a really low point in my life trying to get pregnant. Um, with them. So we went through IVF and we got our miracle babies. So I guess I'm just your average mom trying to balance all that life throws at me. I feel like it's a lot. I try, I always try to keep my head above water. I can certainly say that most days I feel like my head is spinning and I can barely keep it all together, but I try my best and I'm grateful that you're here. And if you are new, please say hi. I hope I can create a space here for you, a community where you feel like you belong. You are a part of this community. You are the reason why this exists. You matter and we are in this together and I'm always here for you guys. So recently I came across this scrub mommy, scrub daddy, I don't know, power paste. I love the scrub daddy and scrub mommy sponges. So I thought I would give it a try. So the sponge has kind of two sides. There's um, like a really soft side and then there's like a harder side and maybe more like a rougher, I guess is what you would say. And then you have the power paste and you start out by wetting the rougher side and then you dip it into the paste and it's it's kind of gritty it's like a clay material um and then you scrub it on the stovetop or your sink or whatever you're cleaning and then when you're done you re-wet the sponge and then you get the softer side wet and then you wipe all of it off and then I always shine it with a glass cleaner and I will tell you it got everything off of my stovetop and I had a lot of burnt stuff on there this is a great product just by using it this one time. It's great and I, I like it because you can get it at Target. I got mine at Target. You can also get it at Walmart. And in my opinion, this one time, it performs as well as my Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and the pink stuff. I love both of those for my glass cooktop stove, but I can't always get those you know, at Walmart or at Target. So I kind of like how this is an option that I can pick up at the store at any time. So I'm using my Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner. I actually have two carpet cleaners and this one is great um, if you're looking for something more lightweight, you don't have a ton of carpet and you need something that's more budget friendly. Um, 
it's not the heaviest duty carpet cleaner out there but um and it also does not come with an attachment but it does a really really good job like a really good job so if you're on a smaller budget you don't have you know a big house or a lot of carpet this is a wonderful machine it's super lightweight so i was able to bring it up from the basement that's where i keep it to clean my rugs and i get this Every time I clean my rugs, people are like, oh, you can put your rugs in your washing machine. But I've been told not to do that because if you're, well, if your rugs have a rubber backing, which mine do, it slowly comes off in the washing machine and eventually it will ruin your washer. I don't know if that's true, but I'd rather err on the side of caution. I have noticed when I used to wash my rugs in the washing machine over time, it doesn't happen once, over time, the rubber backing did start to wear off. So... This is how I clean my rugs now. Um, and it's just crazy to me how much stuff, dirt and stone, like you'll see that in the water, stones that come out of this rug because it's not a very thick rug. Um, and also I don't put anything under my rugs to protect the flooring because I have that rubber backing, which is waterproof. So it protects the water from getting onto the floor. But if you don't have a rubber backing under your rug, I would get some plastic wrap from like Home Depot, or Home Depot or Lowe's and put it under there to protect your floor. So as I, you know, watch back my videos, I've realized that I've talked about Mike a lot and like an art history and all of that. And I guess I could talk a little bit more of my life outside of my husband and my kids, which is, you know, what I talk about the most. Um, but I figured I'd talk a little bit about my friends and like me hanging out with friends and all of that. Um, I don't post a lot about me hanging out with my friends because number one, I want to respect them um you know they all don't want to be on a public youtube channel or instagram so i'm always respecting that but then also when i'm with my friends like i like to be 100 percent there and present so i don't ever think about posting so i do have a group of friends that i hang out with um and it's just nice because oh and i had not planned on cleaning out my garbage can but as you can see, it was pretty gross. And down there in the corner, there was mold. So I thought I better clean it out tonight. So that's what I was doing. Um, you know, I tried my best to keep up with everything, but obviously there's just always so much. It doesn't always happen. Um, but yes, I have a group of friends. I have some friends from my elementary, like my best friend from elementary through high school. She lives in New Jersey and, you know, we FaceTime a lot. Um, we talk on the phone a lot. We see each other when she comes home for the holidays. So I chat with her a lot. And then I have a group of friends in my town and it's really nice because um, we have, they have kids that are Avery's age, not the twins. None of our friends have kids, the twins age. Most of them are a little bit older, but we'll get together, we'll hang out. They have kids that, um, you know, Avery can play with their kids. And then what's even better is that their husbands get along with Mike. So a lot of times we're hanging out as couples, like just like very casual at someone's house, watching football on a Saturday afternoon or evening, um, like that type of thing. But those same girls, we do get together for pedicures and dinner and drinks and all of that just to have that girl time. Um, so I would say like my group of friends is pretty small, but that's how I like it. Like I, it's more like quality over quantity at this point in my life. Growing up, I had a pretty bigger group of friends in high school because I played sports and, um, like I always had a bigger group, but now I have a little small group and it is perfect and wonderful. And I'm grateful for the friends that I do have in my life.
So I love using my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer to clean out my carpet cleaner because it's so hard to get it perfectly clean. That plastic part does not come off. So I use it, the hand steamer, to blast everything away. And then I turn the roller and slowly I can get all of that debris out of there. I will say that as I've gotten older, I think, you know, when you're in high school or college, you want all the friends, you know. I also went to a small high school. I had 70 kids in my high school graduating class, so like a small school. And I don't know, my personal opinion, going to a smaller school, I felt like we all grew up together. Like, you know, we only had well, we had two elementaries but they were really small and then we had one middle school and then one high school so like a lot of us grew up together we knew everybody you know we knew everyone's siblings and parents and it was almost like a community that we were all really close and then on top of that i played volleyball basketball and softball and i had i was like basically friends with all of those athletes because being from a small school if you had good athletes, they almost had to play every sport because we didn't have enough kids to just play volleyball, to just play basketball and so on. Um, we also had limited sports, like we didn't have a soccer team or anything. Um, so like if you were athletic, you played those core sports. And I felt like, so like every single game or practice, we were all together carpooling to games and practices. So I felt like I had a big group of friends in high school. And then of course, college, I lived in the dorms, you get new friends. Um, so like bigger groups, but now it's all about like you figure out who you are, um, the type of people you want to be around and who truly like is worth your time because we all have very limited time. Um, and so I would say my friend group is small but they're the best friends ever. I was spraying this allergen spray I got off of Amazon and I've been using it on our furniture and on our bed um, just because the fall makes my allergies go crazy. I will have it linked in the description and I will tell you the description now is really hard to find. YouTube changed it and so you, you almost have to click on a down arrow and then you have to cl click read more. So there's like a lot of work in order to see the full description. And I say that because I'm always like, it's linked in the description. And then people are like, I don't see it linked. And it's there. You just have to kind of find it. Um, but it's there. I am using the Tinco iFloor 2. It's a vacuum and mop combination. And this was a product that I didn't even know I needed until I had it. And I have since convinced my parents to buy one and my sister-in-law. So if you're wondering if I like it, 
the answer is yes i love it it's just nice to be able to vacuum and mop at the same time and it just saves me time and i also love that it's cordless It also has a self-cleaning option, um, but I personally like to give it a good deep clean after every use, and it takes me maybe a minute, so it's not like it takes that long to do, um, but I just dump the water in the toilet, and then I go to the sink, and I rinse everything out. I'll put a little bit of dish soap on some of the parts, and then I let it air dry overnight, and honestly, like I said, it takes me less than a minute, and I just like knowing that it's fully clean, and then the actual mop part is all I have to do, um, or like the actual mop part, all I have to do is take a baby wipe, and then wipe that, all of that gunk out of the bottom, which you will see here in a minute. Night two, Avery had basketball and Mike is her coach. So they were at basketball and oh, this is a cute, super cute shirt I was wearing all day. It says mom of girls and it was made by Ashley from Ashley's Homestead. She has an Etsy shop that I will have linked in the description. And she also gave me a 15% off coupon code for you. It's Jamie 15, but that's in the description. You can go check out her Etsy shop. She makes those personalized book stacks, really cute shirts. Um, it's like one of those really soft, comfy shirts. And I was wearing it on this comfy, rainy day. But like I said, Mike had Avery at basketball and I decided before the girls went down to bed, I was going to get started on some more nighttime cleaning. It's not always easy to clean with them, but uh, usually if I give them a rag and they think they're helping mommy clean, I can get some stuff done. And I, I feel like we've made it to the age where it's not easy to clean with them, but sometimes if they're in the right mood, if the, if the stars are aligned, I can get some stuff done.
So if you're curious, um, the twins are carrying around the baby monitor and they are watching Little Baby Bum on YouTube. They love the songs. Like they don't like TV at all or screen time. And I'm not that mom that's like, oh, I don't give my kids screen time or I don't let them watch TV. No, no. I would love for them to sit for 15 or 20 minutes sometimes like while I'm making dinner. Or you know those times where you just need to get something done. You're like, here, watch this, you know, 20 minute show. Yeah, they won't, they, they will not sit still ever. I'm like, what two and a half year olds will not watch any TV? The only thing um, is I put on, if I put on Little Baby Bum and um, the music's playing, they'll dance and they're a little bit distracted, but that's the extent. Um, but yeah, so I was cleaning upstairs and I was also going to switch out their mattresses, um, but you have to see how bad their crib mattresses are. We decided finally to switch them out. We were trying to hold off, like that was not the plan because I was like, they're two and a half and Avery got out of her crib at two and a half, but their mattresses got so bad. They were cracking, part of the mattress was sticking out, they were discolored and it just, it was like, okay, it's time. We need new crib mat mattresses and these are the Newton baby crib mattresses and it's nice just because um, the cover is breathable, it's washable and I'm just ready for them to have some nice crib mattresses. So for the rest of the night, the plan was to clean the hall up the hallway, clean the girls' bathroom, and then fold some laundry with Mike. He was going to join me for some laundry folding. I told him that a couple that folds laundry together stays together. <laughs> um, he hates folding laundry. He hates it so much. And I, I mean, we all have those chores that, you know, we don't mind doing. And then there's those chores that you dread doing. Personally, for me, I hate cleaning our bathroom. I don't mind cleaning the girl's bathroom. I hate cleaning our bathroom for some reason. I think it's the shower, um, but I don't mind doing laundry because I can sit on my butt and watch some TV. I don't mind it, but I'm curious. What do you guys like to clean? What do you not like to clean? I always get asked when I vacuum outside of the girls' bedroom doors at night, like, how can you vacuum outside of their doors? Well, number one, they both have sound machines, and the twin sound machine is turned up pretty loud just because we have a dog, she barks, um, and I'd rather it be up higher, 
but then lower. Avery, if she wakes up, she goes back to bed. She's fine. Um, but honestly, at night, they're out. Once they're out at night, they're out. Now, during nap time, I would not be vacuuming out here. I do clean upstairs a lot during nap time, but just not in the hallway. But once they're out at night, they are out. So I wanted to clean the girls' bathroom because it had been a while, as you can see by the state of the toilet. Yes, that's not like toilet messes. That's just what happens in our toilets. Um, I've talked about this a lot. I, you know, you guys have always given me, oh, try this, this, or this. We don't have a mold problem. It happens for when it doesn't get flushed enough. Like we never have this problem in our master bathroom toilet or the toilet downstairs because those both get used the most. But this toilet just doesn't get flushed enough. And yes, I should be flushing it more, should be cleaning it more, but you know what? There's just so many, there's only so many hours in a day, so many days in a week, you have to cut something. And a lot of times their bathroom is what I cut because it doesn't get used a ton. Just a reminder, my posting schedule, I post every Sunday and then every other Thursday. There will be a new video this upcoming Thursday on November 4th. And I'm also going to be, in that video, I'm going to be sharing some of my top cleaning products and tools. I've already done a few videos like that, but this is another one. And I'm also going to be trying out some grout cleaning methods at my friend's house and also sharing some of our top family favorite family, <laughs> our top family favorite recipes. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell turned on. So I was mopping with my e-cloth mop. It's just a Velcro, Velcro mop head. You wet with water, you put it on your mop, and then you mop away. And it's just a quick and easy way to mop. You don't need any like product. The mop has fibers that attract and pull up bacteria and dirt. So it's just a very convenient and easy way to mop.
We had went and picked up groceries earlier in the day and I wanted to make for sure I washed them and put them in my produce containers because if I don't do it on that day, it'll never get done. And we go through a ton of fruit. The girls love fruit. So I just like to make for sure it's like a mental note that the day we go to the grocery store, clean the fruit, put it in the produce containers. And these are the Rubbermaid Fresh Works. I think that's what they're called, but I will also have those linked in the description. And then here in a minute, I'm going to be sharing our meal plan for the week. I just know it's always nice to see what other people have planned because it kind of gives us new ideas, jogs our memory about old recipes. So I will share that when I um, write it on our dry erase board. We have two loads of laundry to fold and I got my laundry laundry folding partner here who's gonna help me you ready I'm ready <laughs> the couple that folds laundry together I, stays together is that what they say <laughs> it is <laughs> I just washed my face and I am going to bed. Mike's gonna stay up and watch hockey and I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> you watch your hockey, I'm going upstairs and going to bed. I am getting over a sickness, so the energy really isn't fully there. I mean, I feel okay. I'm like on the mend, um, but the energy just still isn't there. So I'm gonna take care of myself and I'm going to bed early. <laughs> um, but, I hope you guys enjoyed this nighttime clean with me. It's a little bit, I don't know, in the winter I like cleaning at night more because it's just some, there's just something cozy about a fireplace and it being dark and being able to clean. So I'll probably do more of these nighttime clean with me's here now that we're in the winter. Um, and I can wear my comfy <laughs> jammies. Um, but thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me until the very end. Um, you guys know I appreciate you, you know I appreciate you, and you guys mean a lot to me. So, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day, whichever day you're watching this, and I will have a new video up Thursday, so stay tuned for that one, and then another video on Sunday. So, thank you guys, I will see you next time, bye. Mm -hmm.